Since you're here, you must be wanting to learn how to paint. Let's start with the basics, shall we? Your workstation. First things first, the paint. There are many different kinds of watercolour, and it's good to know how each one will behave before you use them. It differs even from brand to brand. Even different kinds of paper will produce different results. If you're unsure of what use will do, test them first on a scrap sheet of paper identical to the one you're using. But let's not forget the rest. You'll also need a cup of clean water, a variety of brushes, and some paper towels on hand. Salt is also good to have with you if you wish to use it. But before you even think of painting, it's good to have some line on. Be sure to include everything you want. Plotting where colours will mix and end is not a bad idea either. Also, if you erase, be sure to get off all the shavings before starting. I assume you already know how to paint. Just dip your brush into the water, then to the paint, and put it to the paper. Since we're further than that, let's learn one mixing technique. Animal fur is very unpredictable with colours, so it's good to use two or more without mixing on a palette. Just dip your brush into the orange, then to the brown to make an irregular colour. Let's learn another technique while we're at it. See how I left the white on the cloth? Some watercolour, when dry, can be wet again and smudged around leaving a light and dark area. Just dip your clean brush into the water and apply to the paper. Be careful and control the amount of water you use as it will overflow the lines if you use too much. Just go over the entire area with the wet brush and it should end up looking something like this. Here's another blending technique for three colours. For this, get your centre tool and add it to the centre. Be sure to keep everything wet while you're working and don't let it dry. It'll be near impossible to work with if you don't. Then get your next colour and apply it where you wish. Add another if desired. Then quickly get a clean, wet brush and smear it from the lightest colour to the darkest to get a smooth transition. Once you get your colour transition done, complete the edge with your last colour. It should already blend. This also shows a few salt crystals added sparingly for a sparkle-like effect. The clouds show a similar colour transition from dark to light. Make sure that the other colour dries before attempting the background to prevent colours from bleeding into each other. The grass is done in a similar way as the fur, but a little different. Get down your main colour, green, but don't make it flow or transition very well. But grass isn't just one colour, is it? It has many. Use different shades and hues of green, light, dark, etc. Add in some blue, bluish green, and some yellow and brown randomly for good measure and make it look more realistic. Don't forget to paint the sky and use salts to create stars. Use varying lightness and darkness to make it flow into each colour like with the flame. And you're done!